Let's begin exploring See Through New York by looking at the payroll records. You'll notice there are multiple payrolls to peruse, including records for people who work for the state government, New York City, state and local authorities, local municipalities, schools, and special districts. Let's begin with New York City, which was recently updated with salary information for nearly 500,000 employees for the 2013 fiscal year. On any payroll page, you'll see the branch or major category you selected is highlighted. To change the payroll branch you're looking at, you can click on branch slash major category and a list of other options will appear. Or you can double click where it says New York City to clear the box completely. For now though, let's stick with New York City's payroll. We'll begin by selecting a pay year. Let's choose the most recently available data, which is for 2013. In the case of New York City, the data is on a fiscal year that ends in June. This is explained in detail in our data notes section, which we'll get into later. By double clicking on a header, we can organize it. In the case of names, we can organize alphabetically and but reverse alphabetically by double clicking again. Let's double click total pay so we can organize by highest earners. You can tell what category has been organized based on the arrow next to the category header. Let's look within New York City's different agencies and areas. You can left click and begin scrolling through with names appearing alphabetically, or you can type in the name of an agency or area you're looking for. If you scroll down far enough, you'll discover gray names, which represent agencies and areas not included in New York City's payroll, but they're still accessible. In this case though, let's choose the police department for New York City. Now that we've selected an agency, you'll see that the number of records has been refined. In this case, there are payroll records for 58,474 employees who earned a total pay of more than $4 billion in the 2013 fiscal year. Let's refine the police department search by position. Instead of scrolling through the list this time, we'll type in what we're looking for, which is sergeant. After refining the list, you'll notice the number of records and total pay has shrunk too. Let's organize the sergeants by their pay range. First, you need to choose whether you want to use total pay or rate of pay. We'll choose total pay. Then you need to decide whether you want to use more than or less than. In this case, we'll choose more than. And for a value, we're entering $100,000. Based on these parameters, you can tell there were 3,687 sergeants who earned more than $100,000 in fiscal year 2013. To go deeper into the payroll section, we need to start over. We can easily reset our search by hitting Clear All, or by double-clicking on the options we've already chosen. For convenience, let's choose Clear All. Now that we've started over, we'll try to search for a record by an employee's name. In this case, let's look for the most prolific state employee, Andrew Cuomo. Notice that you need to type the last name first. As we start to type his name, you'll see a wide range of possibilities that narrow as we enter more of the name. Once we've entered Cuomo, comma, Andrew, you'll see there are still two different options, with one including a middle initial. Names can vary depending on the data reported to see through New York from the specific public entity, but in some cases, a middle initial can differentiate two different people. To be safe, let's choose both possibilities and see what comes up. It's a good thing we did that because you'll notice that four, five of the six submissions, the governor is called Andrew M, and for one, he is just Andrew. Let's organize his salaries according to year so we can track the progression of his salaries. You can see he got a salary increase when he went from state attorney general to governor. Let's see how much Cuomo earned in his first three years as governor. We can do that by highlighting the se selections for 2011, 12, and 13. Based on this total, he earned $541,225 in his first three years in office. Before leaving this section, let's talk about the data notes section, which explains important variations in the records, including the different fiscal years used by public entities. To see what fiscal year is being used, click on a branch or category. We'll click on City of New York and see the different notes, which include an explanation that the fiscal year starts in July and ends in June. That concludes our exploration of the payroll section.